When it comes to life expectancy, there is a noticeable gap between men and women. On average, men tend to die younger than women, and this disparity has been the subject of much research and investigation. While there are many factors that contribute to this difference, it is important to understand why men die relatively younger and what can be done to reduce this disparity. This topic is not only fascinating but also crucial for the well-being of half of the population. From environmental factors to societal pressures, there are a number of reasons why men die younger, and in this video, we will dive into 10 key psychological explanations for this phenomenon. Get ready to expand your knowledge and understand this important topic. Number 1. Risky Behavior Men are more likely to engage in risky behaviors, such as excessive drinking, drug use, and smoking, which can lead to health problems and a shorter lifespan. Excessive alcohol consumption, for example, can increase the risk of liver disease, cancer, and other health problems, and can also increase the risk of accidents and injuries. Similarly, drug use and smoking can increase the risk of respiratory problems, cancer, and other health issues, which can reduce life expectancy. These behaviors are often influenced by cultural and social norms, such as the idea that men should be tough, invulnerable, and unemotional, which can lead men to engage in risk-taking behavior to prove their masculinity. Additionally, these behaviors may also be related to stress, mental health problems, or other underlying psychological or social factors. Number 2. Work Environment Men are more likely to work in dangerous occupations, such as construction or mining, which increases their exposure to accidents and illnesses. In many countries, men are overrepresented in high-risk jobs that involve physical labor, hazardous materials, or dangerous machinery. This increased exposure to workplace hazards can lead to a higher incidence of accidents, injuries, and illnesses, which can reduce life expectancy. For example, in construction, workers are at risk of falls, electrocution, and other accidents, while in mining, workers may be exposed to dust, fumes, and chemicals that can harm their health. In addition to the physical hazards, long hours, shift work, and stress can also have negative impacts on physical and mental health. Number 3. Stress Men are more likely to experience higher levels of stress, which can have negative impacts on physical and mental health. Stress can be caused by a wide range of factors, such as work pressure, financial problems, relationship difficulties, and health issues. When stress is prolonged or intense, it can have negative effects on the body, such as increasing the risk of heart disease, suppressing the immune system, and leading to mental health problems. Studies have shown that men are more likely to experience stress in the workplace, where they may feel pressure to perform and meet expectations, and less likely to seek support from friends and family when they are struggling. Additionally, cultural norms can lead men to feel that seeking help for emotional problems is a sign of weakness, which can prevent them from seeking support when they need it. Number 4. Health-Seeking Behavior Women are generally more likely to seek medical care when needed and to be proactive about their health, which can lead to earlier detection and treatment of health problems. Compared to men, women are more likely to seek regular checkups and preventive care, and to take care of their health through healthy habits and behaviors. This proactive approach to health can help women detect and treat health problems earlier, which can improve their outcomes and increase their life expectancy. In addition to seeking care, women are also more likely to participate in preventive health behaviors, such as regular exercise, eating a balanced diet, and avoiding risky behaviors such as smoking and excessive alcohol consumption. These healthy habits can help women maintain their physical and mental health, reducing their risk of illness and death. While women may be more likely to seek medical care and prioritize their health, it is important for individuals of all genders to seek care when needed, participate in preventive health behaviors, and prioritize their overall health and well-being. Number 5. Social and Cultural Factors These are the societal and cultural norms, values, and beliefs that shape behavior and attitudes toward health. These factors can play a significant role in determining health and life expectancy and can contribute to the disparity between men and women. For example, traditional gender roles can influence behavior and attitudes toward health. For instance, 
Societal expectations for men to be tough and self-sufficient can lead to a reluctance to seek help for health problems or to engage in healthy behaviors. In contrast, women may be expected to prioritize their health and well-being and are therefore more likely to seek help and engage in healthy behaviors. Cultural attitudes and beliefs can also shape health behaviors, such as substance abuse, risk-taking, and help-seeking. For instance, cultural attitudes that glorify substance abuse or risk-taking can increase the risk of harm and reduce the likelihood of seeking help for health problems. In addition, social and cultural factors can shape access to health care and influence health outcomes. For example, poverty, lack of education, and limited access to health care can all contribute to poor health and increased risk of mortality. Number 6. Cardiovascular Disease Men are more likely to suffer from certain chronic conditions, such as heart disease, which can have negative impacts on health and reduce life expectancy. Heart disease is the leading cause of death worldwide, and men are at higher risk of developing heart disease at an earlier age than women. This increased risk can be due to a combination of factors, such as genetics, lifestyle choices, and health conditions. For example, risk factors for heart disease include high blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking, and a sedentary lifestyle, all of which are more common in men. In addition, certain health conditions, such as diabetes, can also increase the risk of heart disease, and men are more likely to develop these conditions at a younger age. Number 7. Lack of Preventive Care Lack of preventive care refers to the failure to engage in behaviors and receive medical services that can prevent the onset of illness and improve health outcomes. Preventive care is an important factor in determining health and life expectancy and can contribute to the disparity between men and women. Compared to women, men are less likely to seek preventive care, such as regular checkups, screening tests, and immunizations. They are also less likely to engage in healthy behaviors, such as exercise, healthy eating, and avoiding risky behaviors that can prevent the onset of illness. The lack of preventive care can increase the risk of chronic health conditions, such as heart disease, cancer, and stroke, as well as reduce the likelihood of detecting and treating health problems in their early stages, when they are most treatable. Improving preventive care is important for improving health and reducing the disparity in life expectancy between men and women. This can be achieved by increasing access to preventive services, such as screenings and immunizations, as well as by promoting healthy behaviors and lifestyles. Additionally, providing education and resources to help individuals understand the importance of preventive care, and addressing the barriers that prevent individuals from seeking preventive care, such as lack of access or cost, can help to improve health outcomes. Number 8. Aggressive Behaviors Aggressive behaviors refer to actions or expressions of behavior that are intended to cause harm or injury to others. These behaviors can have serious health and social consequences, and can contribute to the disparity between men and women in life expectancy. Compared to women, men are more likely to engage in aggressive behaviors, such as violence, substance abuse, and risk-taking. These behaviors can increase the risk of injury, illness, and death, and can also have a negative impact on mental health. In addition, aggressive behaviors can contribute to social problems, such as criminal behavior and decreased quality of life for individuals and communities. They can also contribute to increased healthcare costs and reduced economic productivity. Number 9. Substance Abuse Substance abuse refers to the excessive or harmful use of drugs, including alcohol and other psychoactive substances. Substance abuse is a significant contributing factor to the disparity in life expectancy between men and women. Compared to women, men are more likely to engage in substance abuse and are more likely to develop substance use disorders. Substance abuse can have serious negative impacts on health, including increasing the risk of injury, disease, and death. For example, excessive alcohol consumption can lead to liver damage, heart disease, and an increased risk of certain types of cancer. Substance abuse can also increase the risk of accidental injury, such as car accidents, and can impair decision-making and increase the risk of violence. In addition to the health impacts of substance abuse, it can also have negative impacts on social, occupational, and financial functioning. Substance abuse can strain relationships, lead to job loss, and increase financial problems. 
Preventing and treating substance abuse is important for improving health and reducing the disparity in life expectancy between men and women. Evidence-based treatments, such as cognitive behavioral therapy and medication-assisted treatment, can help individuals overcome substance abuse and improve their health and well-being. In addition, preventing substance abuse in the first place is crucial for promoting health and reducing the harm associated with substance use. This can be achieved through education, early intervention, and the promotion of healthy behaviors and lifestyles. Number 10. Mental Health Mental health refers to an individual's emotional, psychological, and social well-being. Mental health is an important factor in determining overall health and life expectancy, and can have a significant impact on the disparity between men and women. Compared to women, men are less likely to seek help for mental health problems, and are more likely to engage in behaviors that can harm their mental health, such as substance abuse and risk-taking. Men are also more likely to experience certain mental health conditions, such as depression, anxiety, and personality disorders. Untreated mental health problems can have serious consequences for physical health, increasing the risk of chronic health conditions, such as heart disease and stroke. In addition, mental health problems can impair social, occupational, and financial functioning, leading to reduced quality of life and increased risk of mortality. Preventing and treating mental health problems is important for improving overall health and reducing the disparity in life expectancy between men and women. Evidence-based treatments, such as therapy and medication, can help individuals overcome mental health problems and improve their well-being. In addition, promoting positive mental health and preventing mental health problems in the first place is crucial for promoting health and reducing the harm associated with mental illness. This can be achieved through education, early intervention, and the promotion of healthy behaviors and lifestyles. In conclusion, the disparity in life expectancy between men and women is a complex issue with many contributing factors. From biological differences to societal pressures and behaviors, there are a number of reasons why men die relatively younger. Understanding these reasons is important for improving the health and well-being of men, and for reducing this disparity. By recognizing and addressing these factors, we can work towards creating a world where all individuals have equal opportunities to live healthy and fulfilling lives. The information we have discussed provides a foundation for further exploration and discussion, and highlights the need for continued research and action in this important area. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one.